Yet, if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So yeah, that's the, the whole purpose of, you know, us coming on the highways and byways, you know, to warn our people to turn back unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. You know, but our people are stiff necks, stiff necked and rebellious, and they don't want to turn to the Lord. But the scriptures say whether they hear or whether they forbear. You know, so we're gonna come out there and tell you to get right, whether you like it or not. But also to do what? To get the blood off our hands. You know, it tells us to warn a wicked to uh, change from his wickedness. Or if you don't warn him, your blood will be required. But if you warn him and he doesn't change from his way, then the blood is off your hands. So that's what we're out there doing. You know? And also, you know, because, you know, people just think we out there just rambling on, rambling, uh, rambling on at the mouth. And they don't even you know ask or 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 try to hear and see who we're actually speaking about. But you know, it's all up to the heavenly Father. You know, the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yoshad got these people blind in the in the position they're in. You know, like Isaiah Isaiah six and nine says they have eyes. Uh, they have eyes that they see not, and ears that they hear not. All right. Uh. And also, what what does a, a and, that, and that's what a, a watchman a watchman does, a watchman uh, a watchman warns the people of what's to come, you know, just like in ancient times, if you had a, a fortress and on four corners, you're going to have you're going to have something like a watchtower, you know, just another example, just like uh, for jail, they have watchtowers, and then they might have a rat or something going on. And they what? They press the buttons to warn the people that there's a rat so uh, the rest of the security can come up and help. And also, they uh, also they might have a little microphone that they yell out and warn them people to stop fighting or they're going to shoot them with the sniper, so on and so forth. You know, so they, they stand on their ground and they watch. That's exactly what we're doing. We're watching different news news outlets, you know, to see what's going on around the world, you know, to ultimately what? For ourselves to to, to understand what's going on. So because we under we know the, the times that we're living living in and to also what? To warn the people. That's what a watchman do. Alright? Isaiah fifty eight one. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression. In the house of Jacob, their sins. So that's what we're doing. We're warning our people, which are the children of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We're warning them to change their ways. And we're showing them their transgressions. You know, but our people don't like that. They don't like taking correction. Especially if, if they're of your own people, they don't like hearing you correct them. But they'll let another nation uh, of people correct them. Instead of their own people. Alright. And you know that's what we're doing on the highways. Bible. We're crying out loud to them. And, and we don't. We don't, we don't. We're not sparing no one. Because the Heavenly Father is no respect. Respect. Respect of persons. You know. We don't have no respect of person either. Concerning. Uh, we're just judging with righteous judgment. You know. We don't care if you're an athlete. You know. Uh. Any maybe any situation you're in, we don't care about that. You know, we're just to cry loud and spare not, and we're going to speak loudly and boldly, all through the spirit of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. So, our people just need to get right and change their ways, or ultimately, what be destroyed with these certain events that's about to come upon this land. You know, our temptation. You know, you get the RFID chip. You know, coming in play. Uh, you no know, martial law any day coming in play. Um, famines, pestilences. Uh, the race wars, you know, which is a big thing, heavy thing that's getting stirred up right about now. Uh, concentration camps. 
You got all these different things that's that's coming in play. You know, so if you're an Israelite, you know, you need to wake up. You need to come back to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahusha. Or you're gonna be or you're gonna be naked when he gets back. And your shame shall cover you. So, so with that, I hope someone out there was edified. Shalom.